Hey guys, this is me again and welcome to Vertex 5. Uh, in our recent video, we have talked about how you can activate the flow of your hand using the lines, uh, horizontal, vertical and circles. So in this video, we are going to talk about how you can activate the flow of your hand for specifically shading and how you can do that smoothly. So for that, there's a process called gradation and I have managed to create some documents so let's uh, use these documents and do this Okay people, so we have our first document here, it's called HB Graphite Scale. So in this document we have uh, slots, 5 slots for F pencil and then 5 slots for B pencil and we have uh, 5 slots for uh, 12 pencils. Uh, I am missing or skipping a few because we don't need them. It's a grade, you need to understand. So. Uh, I will show you two examples and then you will have to fill this form by yourself. So let's start with this uh, F. Okay, we have got our F pencil. Uh, what you will do is lightly fill this circle like this. And then you will apply a little bit pressure than the last one. And so on. Apply a little bit more pressure than the second uh, sphere. Okay. So that's how it's done. Using only F pencil, we have created five different tones uh, of the uh, gray, medium gray, then darker gray, darker gray, and black. So now we will use like the 9H pencil over here. So here's the 9H. The 9H is a very hard pencil. It's it contains a very hard lead. It can sometimes it can uh, rip off your paper. So be careful with the F series pencils. So that's the result. Uh, let me show you one more example. Uh, we will use let's say we will use a slightly difficult here 9b so it's already a very black and dark pencil you need to put very little bit pressure on the first one So you saw how it works, that's the HP graphite scale and you need to fill out all the paper uh, using the grading method I've told you. Now we'll move to the second paper. It's very important, uh, don't just skip this part, please do this and save this in your file or somewhere you, uh, somewhere you preserve your drawings or anywhere it's very important so now we have this second document it's called shading dark light so what it does uh, we will apply the gradation method 
in these boxes and again we have mentioned the pencils we are going to use over the boxes so what we will do uh, let's say we will have this 3b and we will use this left box for dark to light and then we will use this right box from light to dark okay we will do opposite with the same 3b pencil and we will create a grade uh, usually a gradient with this pencil so let's just uh, it uh, don't have to be precise you don't have to be remain in the box to do that you can always cross the lines it's up to you So that's how it goes and now we will do it like this so that's it you will go from light to dark and then on the left side you will go from dark to light you will have to do this on each box with the each mentioned pencil here so let's just uh, show me one more example with the H pencil and here's the H box it's a hard pencil again it will rip off the paper if you will press it too hard so So that's it uh, from dark to light and now we will go from light to dark here that shows the control of your hand so that's it I hope I get it done and now this is how you will fill out this specific paper uh, that's marked with shading dark to light. So you will just do all the pencils I have mentioned here and practice it. And uh, it, what it will do, it will smooth the process from dark to light. So before we go any further, you need to practice this thing. That was it, uh, you saw the process, the gradation and uh, everything from dark to light and light to dark and the uh, different uh, grades of the pencil in a specific manner. So the documents I have used in this video are available for you guys to try out in the description box. There's a link to the Google Drive, you can download them from there and uh, print it out and have some fun with that process because it's very important and I want you to please practice that so please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon if you are new so that's it thank you